Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Hey, Mr. Steve. Um, my 1998 Custom Suzuki Intruder. Are you with me? I'm with you. Okay. First thing you do is you replace this front tire. This is a 21 inch front tire, it cost me $340, including the rim and the hub. Because anybody knows the Suzuki Intruder, they're a great bike, but they handle horrible with the 19 inch. So it's got 21 inch, cost me $340. This, this is a fen, um, fender off a of Harley, wide glide, and I had it specially painted. It was $50, $100 to paint it. Then we come up here. I got braided cables. The reason I had to do that is because I put mini apes on it with risers. So I got three and a half inch risers here from Cedar Cycle. Those are $100. Uh, braided lines because obviously the other lines won't fit. That was $220. Harley uh, Springer handlebars, one inch from Chromeworks. And they go, these are for a, a Springer just like I used to have before somebody stole it. Then, um, so you can actually lower these. You can take them out and sell them. These are three and a half inch. You can get two inches, so you can drop them up a, a um, inch and a half, or you can take them off completely, and they'll still work on the stock um, the stock risers. Then I got Curiac and grips, which are fifty dollars a piece. So just to raise this whole thing up was almost five hundred dollars. Cost a lot of dough, but that's it's this, this bike rides great. Then back here is a complete custom seat. Uh, I took the, the pan frame from the uh, original seat, we dropped it two inches. So this is completely custom made for this bike. Uh, you can't go out and buy this thing. That was $200 plus. Um, I have the stock pipes on here, but when I fire it up, you'll notice that the, uh, I think somebody drilled them out. Um, because they're fairly loud. And so I, I haven't replaced them, I haven't put anything else on them. By the way, um, when I first got the bike, this, uh, it had a really loose, um, loose grips, so I was running over people left and right. This bike is not a toy. This thing hauls ass. And, um, you know, the top end and second, third, and fourth will, will kick your butt. So anyway, going back to the back, um, I found these struts. So this thing right now is a rigid. Uh, they're very inexpensive. If you didn't like them and you wanted to uh, put shocks on it, still lower it. I lowered it three and a half inches here. Plus, I lowered the seat two inches. So, you know, for like a, a girl, this would probably be a not a bad bike. It, it, it weighs 200 pounds less than my Harley. Uh, it's got a bigger engine. It'll get up and go. But for a first bike, I mean, it'll be your first and last bike. And uh, it's got a new clutch in it that cost me 200 bucks. And it's got new uh, new brake pads. So I left this on there. And, and that's about that. So I got about, I paid 3000 for it. Last year in October, I put, uh, I don't know how many in parts, but I've got about a thousand in labor plus parts. So I've got, you know, almost five grand in it. I'm asking for it, so it's a fair price. So I'm gonna fire it up, it fires up immediately, by the way. And um, that's one of the things I like about it. If I turn the key on. Is that it? Yeah.